Hi, I'm John Michael Williams, and you're watching Extra Time TV. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Extra Time TV. This is Andres Oka. I'm Kevin Campbell. And we are joined by the number one, the Buffon of Trinidad and Tobago, John Michael Williams. How are you today? Fine, thank you, man. Thanks for having me here. Okay, so we're here at the Gasparolo facility at the Raw Fitness Indoor Arena. And for those of you who don't know, and if you don't know, you're probably living under a massive rock. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago just uh, concluded some World Cup qualifiers. We had a good result against Panama and we played a very wonderful game against Mexico. Unfortunately, the result did not go the way it did. As your unique experience has been between the sticks, you know, tell us your general thoughts on the game itself. Well, um, obviously, we have to take into to consideration obviously the length of time that the new coach has been in. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, I think um, you could see the progress. Obviously, we 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 had a good result, which was a win against Panama, and uh, some not so good result with the loss against Mexico. Um, Obviously, with, 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 with time, I think um, the team is going to grow yeah. and get stronger because, um, to be fair to Dennis, he's only had probably four to five days to really work with the, the, the players that came in, the foreign-based professionals, and um, to get that, 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 that gel, you know. Um, I think it was good. You saw it in, a, in, in the second game in particular, we were able to, to, to move the ball uh, as... as uh, fluently as we wanted to and uh, we were able to, to 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 do what we wanted to do in terms of possession of the ball and also in terms of uh, defending and, and, and attacking as a unit. Um, I guess it was a bit unfortunate with the goal but um, we grow and I know by the time as I said in, in previous interviews by the time we come for the games in June we should be a much better stronger team. Okay. I know uh, Kevon, you know Kevon had some uh, interest in the defensive uh, posture of the game. Yeah, um, yeah and, um, during the game, I looked at the positioning of the back line. I mean, as a goalkeeper, you would have trained and you would have, have examples with good defenders. And through the training sessions, especially with Sir Campbell on board, what was the tactic in defense? Because, I mean, um, Gonzalez and as well as, um, those guys forget him, you know, Go sorry, Gonzalez and Sarah started at the center. Our centre back, sorry, but Edwards started right back in the first game, and then um, this guy Aubrey David came on in the second game. So, what was the tactic in the middle? And do you think he will keep Saras and Gonzalez going forward in the middle? Well, uh, well, I can't. Um, <laughs> I can't, can't give away the tactics. I can't give away the tactics. To be fair, I think the main tactic is to make sure that uh, we don't concede goals, mm -hmm. and uh, we play two tough teams, and we only conceded once off a set play, which is something that that seems to be a uh, uh, a weakness in our team for, for quite some time. Um, uh, in saying that, I think we we need to, to, to obviously tighten up defensively. And um, obviously, the coach being a defender himself, or former defender himself, I think he knows the areas in, in which we need to, 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 to get stronger and he knows how to get the best out of our defenders. Um, credit to, 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 to Daniel Cyrus and also to, to, to Gonzalez, they played. Uh, two good games, yeah. two actually two two great games in my opinion, and um, I think yeah it augurs well for not only for the rest of the qualifiers but uh, for Trinidad and Tobago football because here you have two defenders on the on the on the better side of 25 years old and they are already playing against the toughest teams in Concacaf and holding their own, so um, I think it, it's a good sign for for the coaching staff, it's a good sign for the country. And it's a good sign for me as, as well because I'm in the goalpost, so I have a lot less to do. So um, credit to Dennis and to the, to, to the defence and to the entire team for, 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 for defending and playing as well as we did. And you should, as I said, you should see a better team uh, in, in, the, in the near future. Well, you know, as, as fans, people have the luxury of giving comments, couch coaches as we like yeah. to call them. You know, everybody has a, a bit of guilt about that. They go on Facebook and they write all their comments, how the team should have played. You know what they think about the, the whatever, but fortunately for EXTV fans, you know, asking you, you you are actually in there. You play, you have done this before. After a result like this, in terms of the psychological build-up of the team, what's what's the you know the mentality moving forward? Uh, I mean, we could sit as fans and be like, oh, we should have won, we should have done this, we should have done that, and they pick the game. But as a player who has to go through the 90 minutes, who has to prepare. Um, you know, psychologically, what is that like for you and also your teammates? Um, well, for me in particular, I think um, what we need to, to, to do now 
is to go to these countries and get results. Yeah. Um, I like the hard road. <laughs> Personally, I like the hard road. I like the difficult road. <laughs> I like the difficult road. I think um, to qualify for the for the World Cup is the is the is the ultimate dream. But to go to countries like the US and to Costa Rica and to, to Mexico and get results and win our draw uh, on our way to qualification for the World Cup would be massive for me and, and for the group. I think um, we have a coach who fears nothing, as you said. <laughs> we have a coach who fears nothing. And um, he wants to play football. He wants to, to, he has an idea of how he wants the, the game to play and he, he has the ability to, to pass that on to, to, to the players. And, uh, and it was obvious, obviously, in the, in the two games because he only had a week or so to do it. Yeah. And um, we are just looking forward to, to, to going to the US and to, to, to Costa Rica in June and uh, pulling off some, some great results. Psychologically, what it's done for us is to, to show us if we could compete with the teams like Mexico and Panama, we could compete with anybody in CONCACAF. And um, going forward, we, we are going to definitely, we are going to, to, to buckle down, to, to get it work in and to, to try to come out with positive results. Okay guys, so don't forget, if you like and subscribe our page on YouTube, Extra Time TV, you instantly qualify to win a copy of FIFA 17. So don't forget, like and subscribe.